What's up, God? This is Ashley. Um, this is a daily twin flame reading for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, people who are looking for balance within themselves, but also uh, to connect with their divine partners. This is a general reading. Of course, if you're new to this, uh, if, you are, if you're not new to this, you know this is a general reading, and you can order a personal reading if you do not resonate with this reading or if you feel like you want more insight and clarity into your personal situation. If not, you know, sometimes these general readings you know, are enough. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll, and I'll respond. I have a Master Manifesto toolkit that I created, so I, I encourage you to look at that. And I also have books and several products and services that I offer to help you on your journey to manifesting more life and more life. Click the links in my description to get that. But anyway, today's reading... The overall energy of today's reading, we have the third chakra, chakra Archangel Cameo, and the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands coupled with um, the third chakra is about the emotions and bringing your desires to fruition. You, everybody, you know, six is the number for success as it pertains to the Six of Wands. It's about recognition. It's about success. It's about manifestation of your desires, you know, and the emotive chakra in addition to the number 37 is also about the heart of wisdom and bringing to life and, and birthing your dreams and your goals and the manifestation of this partnership it could be related to this partnership but also your individual goals and dreams with the third chakra it's basically saying that life force energy is with you so it's time to direct your energy in a focused pur pur purposeful manner so what is it that you want and i'm going to apply this to my life as well because I resonate, I want to resonate with this. What is it that you want to manifest? So start focusing your energy and your efforts and your emotions towards that. So if it's so honoring connections that you want to manifest, focus your energy and your emotion towards that. If it look at his hand, you see he got it, the powers in his hands. If it is this twin flame relationship that you want to manifest, focus your energy and emotions on that. But focus on yourself. If you are a true twin flame and on a divine um, journey, the power is within you and your ability to balance yourself first and then connect with your divine partner. But whatever it is that you have on your heart that's going to bring you success and recognition and, and happiness and fulfillment in your life, put your focus towards that. Put your emotions towards that. Um, put your energy towards that. This is on the bottom of the deck at first and then it moved. And so I knew that Spirit wanted um, the third chakra there as well. But what this is also telling me is with the deceit card is maybe you feel like things aren't going your way or something is deceiving you. Something is, you have power, but you're being deceived by sight. You're being deceived by life and circumstances making you feel like you don't have the power. And I can relate to that as well. But you have the power in your hands. You have life force energy in your hands. You have to focus on it or hone in on it. Use your your spiritual energy, use your the law of attraction, use your spirit, but also use your physical energy and your physical efforts to manifest the things that you would like. Sometimes we don't even know what we want. Sometimes I don't even know what I want anymore. It's like, what am I doing? You know, I've been on this journey for three years plus. What what am I on this for? What am I doing this for? Because sometimes you could feel lost. But write down or go back to your plans, your life vision, your goals, whatever it is that you wrote down and hone in on those. Hone in on your products and services. Hone in on your career. Hold in, hone in on your love, your divine partnership. Whatever it is that you're focusing on and know that the power is in your hands. Another number we got in this reading, we got the Six of Wands. We got the Six of um, Swords. And we have the Lover's Heart. That's 666. 666 is the number of divine partnerships. It's about being one with God. It's about the twin flame and, and balancing of your dualities, balancing of your divine masculine energy, balancing of your divine feminine energy with, you know, faith, with positive affirmations, with being one uh, with God and having faith and trust in the universe and understanding it and opening up your, using your gifts and opening yourself up to partnering with your higher self um, to manifest your goals and your dreams. So if you're on the scale side of spirituality you, and you have that balance, now you have to balance it with your physical efforts, your physical energy to manifest the desires of your heart. So, you know, when people do these readings, they be like, oh, you cannot make this shit up. Well, you really cannot make this shit up because the first pair you have is 
Magician in the Mirror. And then you have the Three of Wands and the Lover's card. This is literally repeating the overall energy of the reading. This is the magician is saying you have the power. You have power. Again, with the these these two cards, you have the power. This is a great combination in your life right now. You have the power to manifest your desires. You have the power in your hands. What how do you use it? Focus on your vision. What is it? What write it down right now if you want to. Write down what it is that you want to manifest. And I am going to do an extended on this reading for myself because ooh, make sure I'm, because um I need to make sure I'm doing this and I want to extend this reading. Okay, what I know, focus on my vision and balance my dualities. I just want to know what, you know, more specific information. Like maybe I'm, you know, maybe I need to, honestly, I really already know it. I just got to put in the work. But anyway, this is you focusing on your vision and this is you focusing on balancing, using both powers in any to manifest your desires. The magician has the yin and yang energy in his hands, in her hands. The magician uses both spiritual and personal power to manifest, to bring to reality the vision that is in his life, in her life. So what is your vision? Picture yourself right now with power. And I know this is a twin flame reading and maybe you wanted to hear about how someone feels about you or what someone else is doing. Fuck that though. This is about you and your ability to manifest the life of your desires, more light and more life. This is about me and my ability to manifest that. We got to focus on ourselves first and manifesting the life of our desires first and providing us ourselves with stability and structure and a solid foundation before we enter into a codependent relationship. Because when you enter a relationship, with whoever and you definitely don't want to enter a relationship with your divine partner when you aren't ready because it opens the door for codependency and we are queens we're kings we're gods we don't have to be codependent on someone else we are god we're connected with god in ourselves and our higher selves and we are good enough alone not that we want to be alone or that we are going to be alone but we are fulfilled and successful in our own light and we add to we add to the table. We bring our table, connect that with their table, make an even bigger table. We, we're we not codependent. We're not eating off their table. We're taking away from them. We're adding to our partners. And in order to do that, we have to focus on our vision. We have to balance both aspects of ourselves so that we can, we're the magician, so that we can manifest in physical reality the life that we want to create for ourselves and our family and our partner. So what is this saying? Where are you now um, and where do you want to be? So this is the gap. This is the magician closes the gap between where you are now and where you want to be by balancing the dualities and by and by that it could be it could mean that you just need to have faith and, and know that the universe is bringing towards you the fruition of your vision. It can mean that you need to use the law of attraction to manifest your vision and be more practical, meaning what physical effort are you putting towards the manifestation of a goal? And does it strategize? Is does it make sense? So if your physical goal is to for so honoring connections, what platform are you using and how are you connecting with those so honoring connections? What are you visualizing? If you want millions of followers, I'm visualizing millions of followers on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, on my Facebook, whatever. I want to be the top leader in this field, whatever field you want to be in. And this is what I'm doing to gain credibility. This is what I'm doing to connect to them. So this is just about using both powers, physical powers, as well as spiritual powers to manifest your desires. Whoever this is for, you have power and you can do whatever it is that you're trying to do to bring stability, to bring abundance, to bring more light and more life into your life. The next pair is the thinking woman coupled with the six of swords. Both are mind cards. So if you can see this. The thinking woman and the six of swords. So with this combination, this is basically saying you're transi transitioning into a woman of wisdom or a man of wisdom. This is the thinking woman card, so maybe you're a woman. But you're you're transitioning into a person of wisdom that people go to to get insight and clarity, understanding, activation of their third eye, 
for people to get answers. You're transitioning into the answer. I remember I used to watch a sermon by T.D. Jakes, you know, when I was heavily into um, that type of energy. And I, I, I honestly, I don't. Um, I haven't been watching it lately because I am in a whole nother phase and a whole nother level of enlightenment. But when I was, um, C.D. Jakes would always, you know, he would pray or he would have this sermon and says, God, make me an answer. Make me an answer. So that just means make me the answer to a problem of a, a topic in an industry. Make me the answer. So when people seek knowledge, when see, people seek understanding in that field, oh, child, my back surgeon. When people are seeking knowledge and clarity and insight, they go to you. This is what you're transitioning into. You're transitioning into the answer. The answer to spirituality. The answer to um, whatever it is your field is. You bring wisdom. You bring understanding. You bring insight. And you bring clarity. And you are the answer. You're transitioning into the answer. So for me, that means I'm the answer for... The spiritual pathway to success. So when people want more light and more life, when they want freedom, when they want um, to live their best life, to, to live in purpose and to reach higher levels of success, you know, the highest level of success, they go to me because that's what I'm the answer for. That's what I'm transitioning into. But for you, it's in you and your field. You're transitioning into the thought leader in your field, whatever that field may be. This is what this journey is about. This is what this vision that you're supposed to be focusing on is about. So, yeah, okay. That brings clarity for me. Oh, that brings clarity for you. So now that I know what I'm being the answer for, or what I'm transitioning to the answer for spirituality, the spiritual pathway to success, then I could focus on my vision. Instead of focusing on, and you can if you want to, if you want to focus on the partnership, yeah, that's cool. If you want to focus on, this is, I want to buy this new house. I want something material. That's cool too. But a real visionary is going to focus on what impact you want to have on the world, what impact you want to have in your life, and what legacy you want to leave behind. You focus on that and you work towards that as well. And you continuously stay in positive mindset and energies and spiritual, good spiritual energy and also physical energy exerted, you know, into the manifestation of that. Once you get to this level of awareness or this level of self-realization and self-actualization, then you have caring connections. You have the caring connections part in the Four of Pentacles. This is you um, being connected with your tribe, but also being connected with your divine partner. And this time is going to stick. This time is going to hold. It's not going to be that back and forth energy anymore. It's not going to be that one-sided energy anymore. It's not unrequited. This is, you're going to hold on to each other. Not only is are you going to hold on to him or her, but your partner is also going to hold on to you. It's going to be caring connections in all aspects of the word. This is um, also you and your people, you and your tribe, you and your nation, whoever you are created to lead, your family. This is you, um... Reaching new levels of connections with the people in your life, with the people you were created to lead, but also with your divine partner. New levels. New levels of connections, new levels of new heights in your divine partnership. First, again, it's the focus is on you, and then the focus is on external connections. Oh my God, why do they have to have their music so loud? And my window is open, I apologize. I guess they want all of us to hear their music, including you, huh? Anyway, but this is caring connections and um, connecting connection with your divine partner that sticks, that holds, and that lasts. The next and the last couple that we have is the healer of the ages, clarified by the devil card. What a marvelous! What a wonderful um, partnership. It's like dualities right here. Um, so the first thing I want to point out is the two cards that came out. You have the devil card and you have the lovers. With the lovers, is liberation. With the devil card, it's, you know, um, bondage. With the lovers, it's freedom. With the devil, is restraint. So you have two different... Um, transformations going on here but what this is saying coupled with the healer of the ages is this is healing and liberation on new levels this is 
freedom from bondage. This is freedom from, uh, this is financial freedom. This is healing in all aspects of the word, all aspects of your life. Healing and blessings from the divine, from the universe, bringing you to new heights and freeing you from bondage, freeing you from whatever bondage you're in. This could be in your love life. Y'all coming together. This Y'all coming together. Y'all getting rid of this um, codependency. You're getting rid of this. This energy, this negative devil energy, this hold on your relationship, you're getting rid of that because you're coming together. You're coming into union. This is healing to your love. This is healing to your heart. This is healing to your partnership. But this is self-liberation. This is self-transformation. This is freedom. Freedom from bondage. Freedom from um, financial restraints. So this is financial freedom. This is emotional freedom. This is peace. This is healing. Um, in your body this is mind body and spirit transformation and freedom and liberation and living at a level on a totally different vibration this is god vibrations you're living on the god vibrations at this point in um your journey you're getting rid of this negative energy you're getting rid of this financial restraints you're getting rid of emotional restraints you're getting rid of physical restraints this is no longer going to be your energy because you are going to find balance and be in union with your lover and your partner, but be in union with yourself first and foremost and healed from the divine, healed from this process that you went through, healed from the path, healed from God. God is going to bring you healing. You are the sun. Once you get to this energy, you are God, a manifestation on God on earth. You are what you're supposed to be here and experiencing what you're supposed to experience here on earth. You and your divine partner. And that brings healing to the situation. This is a dope reading. One thing I want to point out before I end this reading is this is a good place to be. This is a good place to be. The power is in your hands to change your situation. The power is in your hands to be who you were created to be and to manifest your vision. The power is in your hands to manifest exactly what it is that you want to manifest in this life. Because you're self-actualizing right now. You're self-realizing right now. You're becoming the person that you were created to be. The thinking woman, the thinking man, whatever the thought leader in your topic, in your industry, you're becoming that by focusing on your vision, by using your personal and spiritual power together to manifest duality within yourself and use both of your energies to manifest the things that you would like to manifest here on this earth and to be the person you were created to be. And then to connect to soul honoring connections um, with their tribe, with, with those you were created to lead with your divine partner and being healed and transformed and free from bondage, free from negativity free from anything holding you back and living in your purpose and living in a free abundant life this is you this is you with the power in your hands to bring the level of success that you were created to bring you and your people behind you look she got our people behind her you're gonna lead your people to success as well and fulfillment in their lives that's what you were created to do in your field you're gonna help people in your field you're gonna bring love and light to people's lives that's what you're created for. Love, light, liberation. And it's coming to you first. So whoever resonates with this, congratulations. I take it too. I resonate with it. What we need to do, actions we need to take, write down our visions, focus on the law of attraction, focus on our vision, I'm sorry. Remain positive. Use your power and your emotions. Connect with and, and focus on your vision. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest so that you can... The next step right after that is you attracting the people into your life, but also you becoming the leader, you becoming the answer in your field. So focus on your vision. Know you have the power within your hands. Don't be deceived by sight. Don't be deceived by whatever is telling you, whatever is keeping you in bondage. Don't be deceived by it. This is bond. This is deceit. You are not in bondage. You are Archangel Mac, um, Cameo, however you say that. You're you're this. You have the power in your hands. You're not in bondage. You're, you're not in bondage. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't let the devil steal your opportunity or your mind because you have everything within you right now. The power is literally in your hands to manifest whatever it is you want to manifest. So, do it.
There is no excuse. You have the power literally in your hands. I have the power literally in my hands. There is no excuse at this time. We just need to do it. And if you don't know what to do, focus on your vision. Focus on the answer. What answer are you? If you don't know, you, you should know that what that is. What you are the answer. I always say I'm the mowgli between religion and spirituality because I connect them both and I can liberate both. It's about liberation, but what are you? You know, I always talk about being a spiritual pathway to success, the leader in the spiritual pathway to success, teaching people how to liberate their lives and obtain freedom that nobody can take from you because nobody can stop. This isn't, now, I don't know who that is on that picture, but nobody can stop God's plans. Um, anyway, if you like a private reading, click the link in my description. I have a Master Manifesto Toolkit. In fact, I'll attach the video explaining what that is after this video. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. And peace. I've manifested full payment of all 106,000 of my student loans. I only pay like $60 out of $106,000. I've manifested $30,000 twice. I've manifested connection to my divine partner. I've manifested the activation of my third eye and spiritual gifts. I've manifested the concept of all four of my books way before they created so many things I manifested and now I'm manifesting you. I'd like to teach you the manifestation process. I know the what behind manifestation, what's required, the process. I know how it's done. I know why it's done. I also know things that can hinder your manifestation process and I'd like to teach you. So click the link below today and start manifesting the desires of your heart tomorrow.